Hey guys, this is Chris Peterson with Epic Outdoors. Wanted to talk a little bit today about becoming a better shooter. And in order to do that, I'm gonna take you back in time to this summer to the shooting school that we attended with MOA Rifles. It was hosted by Bob Beck of Extreme Outer Limits TV. Well, this course was incredible. This is a two day course in Oregon where you go out into the hills and you are put oh, into real scenarios of angles, wind. It also includes tons and tons of classroom time so you can learn the basics and the fundamentals of shooting. One of the most helpful segments for me was Bob's segment on breathing control. So I'm gonna let you guys see that right now. If you're interested in attending the shooting course from MOA Rifles, check out moarifles.com and tell Bob Beck that you were sent by the guys at Epic Outdoors. You gotta find a way to achieve a couple different things out of a breathing pattern and one being composure and then two being a, an actual steady spot in which to break the trigger. So what I like to do is uh, when I've found said target and I'm, and I'm locking in on that target and I'm starting to put my setup down on the ground and I know that I'm going to be getting behind the rifle, maybe I'm going to be doing my last minute ranging, I'm going to be getting my bolt rolled, ammo in, you know, that kind of thing. I'm checking my level bubble, tightening my bipod. Okay, once I get the bulk of that work done, so I've already determined where I'm gonna shoot from, like, you know, I'm gonna sneak up to that edge because I'm gonna shoot down there kind of a thing. And I get, you know, get everything set up, get everything out, get all ranging done, get my dialing done, all that kind of good stuff. At that point, I would imagine I'm gonna be pretty much behind my rifle and I'm gonna be looking at the animal through my rifle scope, okay? So this is where it's either gonna go really good or really bad at this point, okay? So for me, when I'm getting ready to start shooting, what I do is I stop taking my inbound breaths through my mouth, just stop doing it. I actually force myself to take all my inbounds through my nose. You're free to exhale through your mouth though, okay? And so it's hard to explain, but if I told everybody to run to the pond and run back up here, and then as soon as your feet planted right where you're standing, I said, close your mouth, you can imagine how much longer it would take you to bring that breath in, right? Because if you're breathing through your mouth, you can bring it in really fast, but there's not very much of a calming sensation, nor any composure. You're just gonna sit there and pant until you get caught up. Make sense? So what I wanna do is I wanna tell you to stop bringing in your breath through your mouth, bring them all in through your nose, it's going to take you roughly 2.5 times as long, but then go ahead and exhale through your mouth. And I want you to do that at minimum of three times. Okay, so we're talking bubbles in line, bipods tight, we're loaded, we're on fire, and I'm looking at my target through the rifle scope, and then I'm going three times in a row. What I'm looking for, guys, is I'm gonna do a minimum of three. It could be four, it could be five, six, or seven. I don't know. That would be based on whatever exertion or how excited you are as to how many breaths I'm gonna take. But what I'm looking for is somewhere around three, four, five, six, somewhere in there. When I exhale, that, I'm have, that I have a span of time, somewhere between, say, three to five seconds. So, just like you do the dry fire drills, when you come up here, you know you break a few dry. Well, then you go and you're calm and you load and then you shoot, right? So when you come up this next time, I want you to lay down, do everything that you need to do, and then I want you to breathe. And the first time you come down, you'll know what I'm talking about when you feel very composed and very calm. I want you to count in your head, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, whatever it is, and if you don't get a three to five second window, then I want you to start your cycle over and maybe add breaths. Like so go from say three to four, four to five, something like that. And how many ever it is when you exhale down and you have a good honest three to five second window, then that tells you how many breaths should be in your pattern. Pretty much you're gonna be that guy, like you'd be a four breath guy or a five breath guy, right? Okay, but what we're doing is if you were to Lay down, so Robbie, I'll pick on you again. Grab a school gun if you don't mind. So I'll have Robbie kind of exaggerate this. But again, with the rifle stock, 
married up to your shoulder, right? When you take a breath in, you should see that muzzle go down. Okay? Well, why is it doing that? Because it's on his shoulder, and then he's making his chest expand, which is lifting the back of the rifle, lowering the front of the rifle, right? Okay, then if he exhales, you'll watch the muzzle go up. Again, rifle stock's attached to shoulder, he's exhaling, making your chest smaller. Butt goes down, barrel comes up. Okay, so if he goes through a breathing pattern of, say, four huge breaths for me, in and out, in and out, in and out, he should get to a point where for three to five seconds, he doesn't have the inclination to either bring in a breath or take, you know, let out a breath. He doesn't need to do anything. So if he does that breathing pattern and he knows in his head he counts it one time around, and let's say he gets to five thousandths or even four thousandths, then he knows, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start again. I'm gonna do my breath. And if he was a four, then when he goes, exhale, one one thousand, two one thousand, that is the flattest he will ever be. That's the time to shoot. So as you come down, you're pulling up the slack of your trigger, checking your bubble, everything is good, you're calm. Exhale, one one thousand, two one thousand, click. Make sense? He will have been completely flatlined at that point. Breathe, breathe, breathe. You can't bring the bullets back, so don't send one if it's not right. There's no rush, there's no hurry. We got lots of time, okay? All right, let's do it.